Hello everyone, you're listening and hopefully watching No Bob Podcast yeah. episode 155. Oh, 156 is next week. That's, that's, that's three years. Three more next years. Week. Yeah. Next week. With special guests coming soon. But that's next week. You're here for this week. Which time, may or may or not happen for you, but time, for us it's happening right now. Time distortion and all that. Um, as always, uh, pop culture stuff, um, whether you like it or not, we're just all going to mortal plane thing we're all gonna die that's the thing yeah we all die let's talk about stuff that's I fun heard... <laughs> i heard mortal when i shot mortal combat yeah. <laughs> i heard plane get over here get over here um, mm. yes we're here to talk about movies comics tv news um other pop culture nonsense that you might not care about but there's only a limited lifespan <laughs> much like those of asgard and maybe those in the tv eh? mm. Possibly, we don't know. That may kind of alu- may be alluded on in the next, in today's episode. Yes, uh, we've got Loki Ooh. episode three stuff to come up, and also some various um, bits and pieces in between. I s- uh, did you watch Luca this week? No, I did not. Um, I did. Pixar, isn't it? it yes. Was, was it good? I will let you know later in on. The video. <laughs> um, <laughs> in yeah, the next so, video. Um, have you been, Connor? It's um, it's good. It feels like it's been an eternity, but it's only kind of has, isn't a it? Full Craig David and seven days. Seven days. A nice one. Um, it it has felt as if we've gone through a multiverse this week. I don't know. It is. It felt like a long time. Yeah, because uh, restrictions got pushed back again. So oh, we'll be know, do. Spoiler alert. Really. That's cool. Um, yeah. July the nineteenth. Yeah, July nineteenth. Now isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But we'll hopefully see still see Black Widow together because we're going to sort that out. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So everyone keep safe. Vaccinate if you can. And. Uh, wear a mask still until the government says otherwise and even then I'd st- and just st- keep I'd washing your hands you yes. may or may not be dirty pigs but just keep washing your hands god where is sex education I know we've three. had like three videos going yeah it's out oh it's fake <laughs> yeah season two poster here's season three oh, it's like nice. oh mm. then people that do that it's like oh fuck sad same. people they just do it to piss people off mm. the fans off it's like it's, most. you know what annoys me it's when a lot of people like fall for it and like mm. get traction on it it's like guys it's coming it's coming it's like it's not this is please hold on my day <laughs> it's like when there was a uh, trailer for Beaky Blinders series 5 which um, definitely happened was like oh no oh my god look the new series is coming it's like you can see from the date that that was like a year ago like oh I see just oh, lay off lay off yeah now that we've insulted everyone who uses Facebook um, <laughs> yeah definitely Facebook uh, what happened this week in um, the world of movies and other such uh, visual mediums we got a photo of Shazam. We did. Fury of the, the Shazam gods. family. Mm. The Shazam family. Shazam vision. Shazam vision. Shazam vision. It's a crossover between Chuckle Vision and Shazam that we've all been really clamoring for. It would have been Wonder Vision, but because of their rival company, Disney Disney Plus, they can't do it. There's a there's a new story on that. I'll get into that. But uh, what, who? What the Shazam mean? Is it happening? <laughs> or Disney Plus? Mm, possibly. No. Right. So we got a new set photo of the returning Shazam family from yes. the end of Shazam, the titular movie. Shazam Fury of the Gods is the second Shazam. Definitely the second. It's a lot of Shazam. Black Adam may or may not Black Adam will that. happen. It's a spin-off. It's yeah. an anti-hero thing. It's like Venom, mm. but probably going to be better because uh, Dwayne Johnson's in it and um, it still falls Black under the DC banner though. It's basically, I love that it's basically going to be Avengers from like H- Loki's point of view, yeah, essentially. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And fighting the early fucking Justice Society. Mm. Um... I was going to say Nick Fury. Uh, Zachary <laughs> Levi returns as Shazam. Yes, Shazam. But not name. He's not technically not named in the first film, is he? It's never he. No, he doesn't come up with. Shaz- he, he well, never, he has to say it because he has to say the word. But yeah, he doesn't go. Yeah, I'll call myself Shazam. Because before, it, like, it's a contractual thing. Before they, it was Captain Marvel, and mm. then obviously Marvel um, coined that for one of their heroes, and also when it got bought out by War- um, not Warner Bros. by DC. Um, yes. Yeah, it was then a whole legal thing, and then became Shazam. I think it was and only it until also, like twenty eleven yeah. though. It was still quite. It still was Captain wasn't, Marvel forever. Wasn't there a point where he was still Captain Marvel, but it was just because like he would say the word Shazam, so it was just like he'd still say Shazam. But yeah, he'd never sort of been named Captain Marvel, but he still was like because it was yeah. the Marvel family, wasn't it? Like the weird right, yeah, that was, yeah. had no powers, and he was quite strange, mm-hmm. and just used to steal stuff. Like, yeah, who doesn't know something like that? <laughs> <laughs> Not uh, me. No. 
Um, where was I going with this? Yes, so yeah. um, they all became um, the foster kids. All got powers to help him defeat the um, Mark Strong. Mark to defeat the Mark Strong yeah, and the, Mark Strong. the Seven Deadly Sins. Was it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the it was the weird eye of something. Not Agamotto. It was a different one. Um, <laughs> so we got. Uh, are their costumes different? Because Zachary Levy's got a new suit, which is less padded and See, more Levy ripped action. Yeah, and mm. less like white. And it's all gold. Yeah, gold. It, it does look. I do like the emblem on the first one, but that's just because of me. And I mean, he kind of suited this character. We we did discuss this, but I think it worked for that because he was a kid in a in a yeah, it was very much a costume. Like oh, because the whole point is he wants to be like suit. Like he imagines himself a superhero, so that's how he imagines himself. But then like again, looking at that second photo, I still can't see a hood on the back of the costume. I think maybe the hood's going to be CGI in fight the, scenes. This is the thing, yeah. Mm. And then it's going to be practical only in like standing or group shots or yeah, just exactly. like when he's not really in motion They'll because i think stick to them put it on him in like like you say live action still shots. yeah because i because i think like it's a lot easier to have him wear it when he's not fighting yeah, yeah of course having yeah. the whole thing of like you don't know have the control no. of and like the free a, motion a free yeah. element that's on your back really mm. which mm. is what capes are they're just free elements that's... like oxygen or which are vital it's vital or PPI claim adverts on Facebook. Shout out Facebook. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> sure. I don't know. It's been a fucking long day, man. Um, I look forward to Shazam because it's care. good. Um, I hope we get a lot more of. Uh, do, do, do. Fuck, copy, so copy, fun. copy, 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 copy. Right. Dun, 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 oh, thank God, I didn't really interrupt it either. So that's. Oh, that's hooray. Because um, I would have answered and beaten her to death. Uh, <laughs> Limey. Yes. <laughs> Blimey. Sorry, Mum. Um, Love you, really. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> um, did the, were the costumes of the other kids new? I see, that's the thing. I was going to say, at that, at that first glance of that image, it didn't seem like, wow, they've changed. It just looked the same to me. Yeah, they look like exactly mm. the same suits. Maybe just they'll have just the emblems different. Exactly, maybe. Or, I don't know, maybe, that, maybe just Billy's going through his mad arc and that's like, you know, sort of like the second film syndrome, like they come up against something lose or like yeah. are unable to maintain their Pro- powers then come, he'll be in his first suit and, and then, then come back happen. stronger with new yeah. suit <laughs> exactly 100 percent. yeah superhero trademark 2006 he'll, he will get thwarted by the caterpillar mr mind mastermind you know that caterpillar from mr the mind first, the first shazam yeah. post credit scene he'll get defeated by a caterpillar which is fucking great that that's where they went with he'll, that he'll get weaker and he'll be like no i've lost my powers and then full on superman 2 digimon honsu will appear be like no billy Billy Batson, you will say my name, and you will get a better non-CGI suit. suit. <laughs> it made you work out for this one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then he goes, Captain Marvel. Uh, oh, um, I mean, cut, cut the movie. Brie Larson. <laughs> Brie Larson. <laughs> oh dear. And then um, it's not a new suit. Yeah. Yeah, Shazam. Ta-da. Um, yeah, we got a final trailer for the Suicide Squad. Yeah, last night. Yeah. Out Which a lot of news outlets have been marketing as Suicide Squad 2 trailer. Right, boom. Which annoys me. Exactly. Well, yeah. Because um, those of you who don't know, Suicide Squad 2016 was... Um, if you enjoyed it, fair on you, but it was shit. Yeah, um, to say the least. One of the most underwhelming movies of my life. Yeah. Really was, yeah, just underwhelming, considering it was meant to be... It's got Valva syndrome, because I can't uh, wait watching it. <laughs> Castrovalva. Yeah, that's a, uh, I can see weird trips of... <laughs> Cash, it's Cash yeah, just, I mean, like, I'm so bored watching it. Like when I watch Castro Valve, like, I just fall asleep. It's like, yeah. fuck this film. Um, Cara Delevingne's eh, and it's Sky Beam. No, I find that with Four to Doomsday. I, d- I can't watch Four to Doomsday. I've never got to Four to Doomsday because I'm still on Castro Valve. Anyway, <laughs> okay. enough classic. Ooh. <laughs> Who's that? Yeah. Um, we yes. So it's sort of, it's a sequel slash sort of reboot thing. kind of thing, isn't yeah. it? It's like because a separate entity. That yeah. one did so poorly in terms of reception and box office that mm-hmm. it was, let's get James Gunn, who made this bunch of random misfit characters really good in Guardians of the Galaxy, give him the Suicide Squad. So it's in that weird niche. It's like Birds of Prey. It's like, it exists in the same universe. Like that film happened before, but you don't have to watch it to get what's happening yeah, in this exactly, film because it's sure. almost sort of retreading similar steps. There's a lot more characters, a lot which more. means given the name, hopefully more than one will die. Yeah, spoiler alert for those who didn't see the first I one. I think it's, I mean, either yeah, gonna one be, it's either going to be the obvious ones or mm. it's going to be 
Um, yeah, not much Capaldi. Ones. There wasn't much Capaldi in that trailer. I think it's. So it I think, think it's either a ploy that like I think obviously because the thinker's not really good in a fight. No, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like in terms of his power set, so he can't think well, in that situation. He's called the thinker. Mm, yeah. I think though, it either like he'll die early on because he's one of those ones, or he'll be yeah. in the group that of people that die. Or he will just outlive it, and it will be ridiculous. The fact that he has to sort of combat the situation by being his power is he can think. <laughs> it might be a sore situation where we'll see him get killed off screen. He will be gone throughout the movie, and then he'll he be does season six B. Oh, <laughs> yeah, sure. He then goes back to Thatcher Chow and does Stop. season You're six. You're making me giddy. <laughs> and then redecorates. Jodie Whittaker starts playing like the thinker it. midway through the film. Oh. Bloody hell. <laughs> it's Confirmed. a lot more of... Uh, what's the starfish's name? It's a lot Star- more of that. Starro. I think he's called Starro. Starro, yeah. yeah. Starro the starfish from outer space. From outer space. Which almost feels like an homage to like the 1950s, like, not quite vintage black and white, like, monster films. But it, it did feel like, a bit, yeah, like that in the trailer. Like, yeah. King Shark look, still looks great. Mm. Um... What did he and. say? Yeah, it wasn't hand, but he said something else in it. He, he's like, he's on the walkie-talkie or something, and he went like, ugh, and then Joel Kinnaman was like, yeah, th- 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 yeah, I can't remember what he said. Joel Kinnaman responded with what he was Joel saying. Joel Kinnaman looks like he's going to have fun in this film. Which he, he actually have is last his time. character. He's actually he's... Rick Flagg. Yeah. Um, and I've also a lot of things that I saw before, like when it was cooked, because originally it was like, oh, Idris Elba was going to replace Will Smith as Deadshot. Yeah. Yes. And then it was like, no, like there's he's plenty not. of other characters. Um, so it leaves it so that if he did want to return to the DCU as a wider whole or a Suicide Squad movie and think hang on that was a lot of fun because they got they've got Margot Robbie um oh. Viola Davis and Joel Kinnaman and uh, yeah, Jai yeah. Courtney yeah, yeah, yeah they're all yeah. returning from the first one mm-hmm. um which is great because it's the best thing Jai Courtney's ever done exactly which doesn't say yeah. a lot about Jai Courtney I no, know sorry I know sorry, sorry Jai, Jai Courtney Terminator sorry. Genesis is shit T- Jenna shit a good day to die no sorry was it a good day to die hard I mean that film we die hard five didn't happen yeah that yeah, one that I think one. I think it's that one yeah oh, okay um <laughs> And might because Will Smith might look at it and be like, "Oh, these guys had a lot of fun coming back. I might do another one, mm. like along this, because yeah. it is a lot more to the comic book and just you know balls to the wall action and f- it's funny. They're like it'll have character and heart in it. It's mm. it's gonna it's gonna make you at least think future plans her? at least <laughs> at least somewhat future plans in the form of the the John Cena spin off Peacemaker, which I can't says to me that he might live. No, because I, I think it's a prequel. A prequel spin-off. Yeah. yeah, okay. It said it could, it can mm. be a prequel as well, so it's like, it's not... But then he said the, on his Instagram story, it was, it's, it's the first season of something he's already recording, so unless it's multiple seasons of Peacemaker. Maybe, I don't know. From James Gunn himself on Instagram a few weeks ago. I mean, I can't show it's it. It's coming out 2022, isn't it? That, isn't I think, it? yeah. January, something like that. I think it was on Early. Instagram. Early, it was early 2022, ago. yeah. So it'll be after the film. It might be set before it. We don't know. Um, we look mm. forward to anything that James Gunn does, really, because he's really good and nice, and he was... Um, the first big news thing that ever happened on this podcast well, is I mean, him getting sacked. In I mean, we started, three. and then yeah, like you said, then he <laughs> got sacked. We started, and he finished. Um, mm. Hey, uh, but um, obviously back for uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three um, after that because um, they backtracked on that. Um, but now he has to have to wait, Disney. They have to wait, but <sighs> wait, possibly not Before. for Justice League versus Avengers? Question what? mark. What? The internet's going to break. How did... What? <laughs> What's <laughs> happening? Because this has happened before in the comics. Um, yes. The Justice League and Avengers have crossed over slash fought each other mm. um, in little uh, comic book events, haven't they? Yeah. Um, mini sagas of And yeah. everyone's sort of like, well, because that would sort of... Would that save DC? But then you'd have to fucking... I mean, not only save the comic industry, but kind of bring the economy back. And you make the DCU good. It. You fucking yeah, make Marvel make it. Um, yeah, exactly. Because um, it's not impossible because James Gunn before is because he is um, one of the few directors that will have worked for both. both yeah exactly Joss Whedon sort of but you know the less we say about him the better um, but that was mainly Rishi the, uh, the other one's been the other one's erased from continuity in my mind that one who? didn't happen who? yeah who indeed who? that one didn't happen no it didn't happen mate in my mind Dave Filoni directed um, Avengers 1 and 2 but oh, imagine if he did this Marvel movie. All out war. I mean, he did. <laughs> what was that? All out war. <laughs> That's the next Avengers five. All out war. Avengers oh. access all areas. No, it's <laughs> fucking stupid. Um, uh, what war. was he saying? Yeah. So um, obviously he's apparently had like loose talks and said like, mm. look, you know, if 
I was going to do it. This is how I would do it. Yeah. Because he knows that MCU is great, making a lot of money, holds continuity. Even then when it's broken itself with Endgame, it's done that to sort of leave gaps to then fill in. The and, yeah, um, of course. Yeah. Expand on storytelling because Kevin Feige is literally just thought of every single thing you could imagine. Complete opposite. Uh, Warner Brothers and DC because oh, mm, um, yeah, we're eight films in uh, in this, yeah we are aren't we first eight was years eight film yeah 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 and that's mm. not good <laughs> no. but um, no, 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 and no. a lot of them are not very well received I think the only one no. that's for me is for me my favourite Shazam. Shazam yeah and that's a solid pick there's no other real Shazam contender. Birds of Prey um. And the non most, of, most, of, most of Aquaman. <laughs> yeah, a good chunk of Aquaman. Yeah, yeah, a good chunk. Yeah. I imagine if I watch the uh, Snyder Cut. The non canon Snyder Cut, yeah. Yeah, that's, it's non canon, but the other directors are like, well, we're following Zack's original vision. It's like, oh, fuck off. You're just going to make everyone clamour for the Snyderverse to be a thing. And uh, then you'll only release it on HBO Max, which when we don't have access 50, to. When we're 50. And then we have to fucking pay for every single film that you want to stream on there. Oh, exactly. No. No more. Stop it, Warner Brothers. Mm. Oh, God, money grabbing shills. But everyone is. We will be if we ever made money. But <laughs> I digress. Oh. In another timeline, we have. Would you? I mean, yeah. As much as I'd love to see um, Justice League versus Avengers, I would be more inclined to it if the DCU worked, sorted itself out first. If, if it yeah. worked as a whole, I'd be like, Absolutely. yeah, you know what? I'd like to see these because I'd love to see these versions of the characters. Mm. I want good characters from DC. I do. Like, we don't just hate on DC because, no, no, oh, no, no, we're Marvel no. fanboys. No, we love all of media. Oh, 100%. It's, we want, I'd love nothing more than for it's a great such, Superman movie. It's just with such Henry a shame. <laughs> but there isn't one. Oh. oh, I mean, Man is still, you know, isn't I the want Superman the, movie, I want right? The last, I want the last 15 minutes from Justice League for a whole movie. That's what I want of Superman. Wait, you know when Re- he was... reiterate very carefully what bit of Justice, what Justice League are you on about? You know, because well, I've only seen the original. The so one. you know, the, you know the normal one. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I do. Yeah. When Superman comes back, and then he's sort of joking about with Cyborg, and then he races the Flash. It's like, ah, oh, that's um, Boy Scout, Boy Wonder, um, King, King of His Principles, and just uh, Truth Justice. And, truth Justice in the American way. Yeah, but that I is su- But that's yeah, Superman. At heart, at that's heart, yeah. the first time we he- never got that in Man of Steel as well. Ex- that exactly. Yeah. That's the first time Henry Gavill got to play. Superman. Clark Kent, Superman. If yeah, you like. yeah. Home, got to home actually play boy. Superman. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'd like to see that for a whole movie. Mm. Um, I doubt we will. Um, <laughs> anytime soon. We'll probably have that. Um, after Highlander, Mike, we'll have that Michael B. Jordan, um, different universe adjacent because it will be the DC Elseworlds thing, like Abrams fucking Joker thing. Yeah. and the yeah. Batman. Yeah. Um, and yeah. it's all got all that stuff as well. It's like, and there's going to be like three or four Highlander movies and the Witcher mm. season five and stuff. Yeah. And the thing for me is, they had the TV shows that they were better at. They're now not better at the TV shows. They linked no. those to the movies. Yeah. And we're like, cool. Just going to leave it there, not do anything else. <laughs> exactly. Unless the flash stick fixes everything, which I, 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 I very I doubt. much fucking doubt because that movie can't fix itself. It can't fix itself. Do you know what it can fix? Yeah, I've probably got a nice new suit for Ezra voice. Miller. <laughs> I mean, if it doesn't get cancelled for like a sixth, seventh, eighth time, I don't know. If if Andy Machete leaves, I don't think it gets made. No, honestly, it can't. It's gone through the most directors. My, Michael Keaton's heard. in it. He's filming something. Yeah, sure. Yeah, he is filming. Something's something. got to be happening with that film. We've got to at least see something, even if it just becomes a fucking. You know, animated over fucking big finish. I think that's like around that. like um around, around big finish. Did you say? Yeah, we make it a big finish story. Oh, no. Big finish presents. We've got the DC license. Lost in time, the Batman Chronicles. <laughs> um, that's starring a... Nick Briggs <laughs> as Michael Keaton. <laughs> oh, I'm Batman. What's going on round here? Oh, I'd pay to see that actually. I'd pay to listen to. Do that. you remember that Night of Doctor impression? Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. I'm the doctor. <laughs> See, what's going on round here? You had a bad impression. And then they just then they just got Christopher Eccleston back. I know, out of the blue. Where are yeah. you where are you hiding, Chris? Christopher Eccleston, <laughs> the purest soul of series one. As far as we're aware. As far as we're aware. Um disclaimer as far as we know, Billy Piper hasn't done anything wrong. So, you know, yes. still a fan. And oh, yeah. she regularly calls Lawrence Fox a twat, so Okay, my book. 
And Russell, please, God, please, God, Russell, don't have turned your back to anything. Thank fuck, please. Come please. On. Yes, Come on. keep making BBC dramas. Keep making really good TV. Mm. Anywho. Anywho. Who? Who? I don't have any Doctor Who related news. I thought that was going to be a segue. <laughs> I thought you knew something. Um, um, season 24 right. comes out soon, doesn't it? Is it next? Tomorrow. Because I think my date got moved to the 24th. Let's have a look at that. Because it, it was this Monday. Right, okay. I think was it? I you see if you've got an email. Yeah. I'll just check You'll check the emails I'll while I um uh se- um what should I say um season twenty four was terrible because um they tried to make it like, like none s- of them. It's not I don't like them. It's just it's it's shit. It's bad. It's bad stories badly written. Like okay. a McCoy McCoy because for me, see the McCoy era is the transition because from. Parts of season twenty five and then all of season twenty six is what then sort of formed the format for New Who in the way they do it. Um Ace is really good. Um but I think season twenty five is them like we're still gonna try and make it like we've made it since nineteen sixty three, but now it's the eighties and American does it really, really well for a lot less. Right, okay. But we're sure. still making it look like a um they still 'cause they still essentially filmed it the same way they filmed with Hartnell, like you know, you've got to film it like this, this, and this. There's not a lot of... I mean, there was more ability to cut than that because technology had, like, developed a bit, but it was still almost like a large full-scale play, wasn't it? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's Monday the 20th. Monday. Next Monday. Next Monday. Next, just in time for our third anniversary Ooh. when we'll be giving away Connor's copy of season 24. We haven't told him yet. <laughs> no, I've got something to give away. I didn't suggest. Uh, Jojo Rabbit and Parasite Blu-rays. Surprise announcement! I didn't tell you this. This is it, it's cool. It's content. Of, it's content. Um, it's content. Yeah, no, I've got giveaways. I may or may not have upgraded the 4Ks. I don't need the Blu-rays anymore. So, if any of you viewers want to uh, have my lovely, freshly, well, we could maybe give one away in the quiz. Yeah, because there's a so we have. Um, our, we should say our guests for next week. Yeah, okay. This is where we're, we're feeling um, time. Uh, uh, the old mates at um, formerly Hit or Miss podcast now spin the wheel. Where you spin, spin a, that wheel. Essentially, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. John Trebek comes in. Um, he's He was really cheap. They got him a really good deal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so basically, um, really great guys, Will, uh, Michael and Andrew. Um, they will be on... Fingers crossed. I've asked for the day off because, you know, it's like we're, I've got a busy day. We've got a lot to get through. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to be here. Um, we're going to do a quiz. <laughs> Um, I haven't decided whether it's going to be purely Doctor Who or we're just going to like. I was going to do one of those one of those joke, um, Mr. Sunday movies ones. Yeah, sure. Like, this is the hardest <laughs> Marvel quiz you're ever going to do. <laughs> no, so um, okay. maybe we'll give maybe we could give one of them away to them and then an audience member for the third birthday. Um, I need to also on payday send another because we did the two hundred subscriber giveaway. Um, sent that to Dan, the man. Um, a bit, I did send it late because obviously like, just shit's been happening and then um, it Football. hasn't got there so guessing oh, no. we're just going to have to send another one <laughs> um, okay, but also cool. we, so we do apologise Dan but um, you also when we get the um, the t-shirts in that we're working on we will give you a t-shirt we'll bequeath one to you as a way of an apology because um, preferably in person because our delivery service are not Amazon Prime as, as, I've, as I've just heard yes the postal service <laughs> not great but um, yeah, we have to decide a quiz. We'll have to. Uh, yeah, okay. We I would them to like, do we go full on serious or do we just do Mr. <laughs> Sunday movies and go minimum oh, effort, cute. maximum entertainment? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see. Okay. So um, check out Spin the Wheel podcast if you haven't already. Their episodes include. Their, what was their last one? Uh, I think the visitation was the first one. Okay, visitation. Um, so yeah, we'll have to get you on there. You'll have to go yeah, and do it because yeah, I, I think yeah. I'm doing one. I hope. <laughs> you hope? <laughs> they haven't told me yet. I think I was on the trailer, <laughs> and, and you're in the deleted scenes. <laughs> yeah. I'm season six B. So, <laughs> oh, no. um, yeah. So oh, hit or, it, when it was hit or miss, it was um, the story, and then whether, whether you agreed whether it's hit or a miss. Kind okay, of, right. Kind of fun gimmick. There was um, oh. I did torture children of Earth for series two, and I'm not even being biased. I was my favourite episode. <laughs> 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 it's what spawned the countless Kylie Minogue gifs and memes that you might have seen. 
in a portion of Doctor Who Twitter that I'm literally just on the outside of. I feel like, you know, sure. the Doctor Who Twitter community, <laughs> I feel like they're in the dome in the Simpsons movie, and he's over there, just outside of the dome. Oh. Blimey. If we, beca- if we became serious YouTubers, man, can you fucking imagine... Like we'd have to, oh, we'd have to check you know. facts and shit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you have we to check half of this stuff up. Oh, we um, do spiral. But yeah, so now it's been like they spin the wheel and they get a random story, and um, you know, is it good or is it bad? Who knows? You decide. Yeah. As long as I don't get any of series nine, it's fine by me. Watch me, <laughs> watch me get fucking hell bent. Watch that be my. I'll just fucking just be angry for an hour and a half. <laughs> be angry. You must be Connor going, yes. Good, <laughs> Anakin. Good. <laughs> Excellent. You'll, you'll get something like decent, like fucking um, the, the Doctor Gopolis. Falls and World Enough and Time or fucking... The Gopolis, um I want you to get Castro Valve if you do it. <laughs> yeah, I know my answer to it, but stay tuned for that episode when it, that will happen. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that will happen. Kane's of Androzani, that'll be my one. <laughs> I'll be an hour and a half of happiness. So, um... <laughs> Will, Mike, Andy, if you're listening. Um, yeah, hi. Connor wants Caves of Androzani. I yeah, want please. him to not have fun. Twin Dilemma, give me Twin Dilemma. <laughs> Time Lash. Oh, no. Or um, uh, um, Horns of that... Nymon, that's my absolute favourite. <laughs> I actually love that. I would do Horns of Nymon. I actually might ask for mine to be Horns of Nymon. Three! <laughs> Oh, no. What are we talking about today, anyway? Um, <laughs> uh, things happened. We did that bit. Oh, the pain. <laughs> the pain. Uh, time <laughs> fractures still going well. I still haven't booked tickets to it yet. So, oh, no, I've arrived, any no. of you guys have seen and been to Doctor Who Time Fracture? Let us know. Yeah, in please. The comments below. And tell us who's there and who got deleted and who's in season six B of uh, Time Fracture. River Song done a cameo. She I don't did. know whether I don't know whether sure it hasn't been cut. <laughs> I don't know whether they did. I don't know whether they did that because um, I don't know if you've noticed that uh, River Song is basically Captain Jack, but so far Alex <laughs> Kingston hopefully <laughs> hasn't ever done anything horrible. <laughs> yeah. So um, mm. it's almost like they went. Well, we've got this cameo with a time traveling immortal person. We need to do and. Um, John Barrowman's been a bit naughty, so let's <laughs> let's just let's get someone who isn't showing their penis, and it's mm. Alex Kingston. As far as we're aware, please, fucking no as one else, no aware. one from the Smith era. It's going to be no. really ironic that Moffat's the just least no one from the Russell era showrunner. <laughs> I know. Uh, I might have written shit stories, but no one ever got their knob out on my set. <laughs> it says that on the series six DVD. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't. I might have to check. I might have to check. <laughs> I'm to check. <laughs> oh fuck! Um, what else happened? Um, yeah, Luca. I saw. Yeah, I watched did. Luca. Disney Plus. Is it free on? Disney? It's not a premier access. No, for the last no premier day. access. The same with uh, Raya and the Last Dragon. Is no premier access. Is just on there. That's the Disney jaunt. Looks a bit Pixar-y. Yeah. Um, whereas Luca is Pixar. So um, we're fans of Pixar. We did a World Cup so, for episode. Yeah, we did. Two um, or three or yeah, it was four early. or five. It was one. In the first phase. It was in one. single digits. Yeah, yeah phase one. Yeah. Mm. Phase minus ten. Um, to which, I don't remember what we decided. We've had so much that we could literally... Uh, I think we could honestly repeat our episodes from episode one. We could reboot it. Yeah. Like every 156 episodes, we just do the same 156 episodes. Just because we're lazy. No, no. If we get, if we get to. to that point, then you know yeah, that we've run out of stuff to talk about. Um, I like... Mm. Pixar films, you yeah, are I like a fan Pixar. of Pixar films. You caught up more because you'd sort of seen less because we went to see Incredibles 2 together earlier on, didn't we? I felt like I saw that. Maybe afterwards, but I felt like I saw that on, on maybe with my mum first. I could be wrong with that. Maybe I did go with you for Incredibles 2. I, can't I feel remember. like you did. I feel like it was the early days where we used to hang out more. Because <laughs> we were like allowed I, to. I feel like I was contractedly obliged to then. <laughs> And you don't feel like it now. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, moving on. Anyway, moving on. Um, so uh, it, I know the multiverse. I've got my own opinions now. <laughs> um, yes, Pixar. Last one was Soul, which came it out was on Soul. Christmas. Christmas Day. I didn't see it. I think I saw it New Year's Day. That's when I watched it. That was free First as well. Day this year. No yeah. premier access for that, which was good. Mm. Um, Onward came out. Uh, soon it was, after it, its original, because it, it came was out. the last film I saw at the cinema before the first lockdown last year. Yes, because that was like the last sort of big thing, and then mm. 
that was the main thing that suffered with lockdown was like oh yeah that stopped it came back to cinema for a little bit it did very when it sort of reopened and then like, went again but then Wait. it was on Disney Plus by I want to say July August it was quick because it was an April release yeah I think Late March, that was April okay yeah, I was, was more fun. I was more worried about that because it was like this oh god they're just casting it on names like Tom Holland and Chris Pratt it's definitely not on the Marvel contract yeah exactly in a yeah. Pixar film mm. um mm. and I was looking forward to Soul more because like it was good there was more existential crisis and it was very much sort of a thing of like it was just a theme that it got was to deep me. it was deep the like, theme was just like oh like, oh dear it felt like progression everyone dies <laughs> was literally the story of the thing they, everyone's they, gonna they, die one they day make, they you might Mephisto, as well live your life and they make Mephisto in hell mm. confirmed <laughs> so we're like yeah. the sole version of podcasts of like well we're gonna die so we might as well just go yeah, out of a just bank. live your life flog it flog it till we die mm. that was good um, I really did like Soul um, and I liked Luca I really right. did do you want the rundown of it because you'll probably watch it. Yeah, okay, yeah, no, yeah. yeah, probably. So, yes. uh, if it's Pixar, well, I will, yeah. Luca is... It's got Disney Plus original on it, which mm-hmm. I don't know if that was the plan before COVID. Right, uh, yeah. I feel like it wasn't, because it's no. still like Pixar, full-on feature film, like normal. But then it has that, and it's also an hour and a half, so you're like... Mm, was it maybe? Was it maybe made... Was it adapted to be a Disney Plus... Maybe. More anchored film? Maybe. Um... But I really did enjoy it. It's it centers on these mermaid people, the mer people, the mermen and mer women. Basically, the sea devils, um, in and, the form the of in the form of people that live off the Italian coast, because okay. um, it's Italian. Um, I think Gino De Campo cameos in it. If anyone yeah, cares, yeah, I saw him on Instagram. He went, "Hey guys, so." I'm in this movie called Luca. Go stream it on Disney Plus now. It's just like, yeah, I was, wow, right, I, was at, I was at the gym out of all places, and I thought, why on earth is he on was my at phone? the gym with Gino De Campo? Connor, <laughs> not in the you first. must watch my cameo on Disney. Just you. And you're like, right, Gino. <laughs> yes. I'm trying to fucking work oh. out here. Oh, come watch Disney I went for, Plus. I went, for you, I went for you running on a treadmill. You went just for the weights. Like, fuck off, Gino. I'm busy. <laughs> he just came up with, what's this? Um, yes, uh, it's good. So it's um, a boy called Luca. Mm-hmm. Um, well, boy, mermaid boy. Um, so they're... Ariel's brother, little cameo to Little Mermaid. So little they've Link. got so they've got arms and legs and a tail, but scales and like uh, scales for hair, like different te- different big textured. Oh, so they're Silurians, essentially. Yeah. So they yeah. live uh, they live under this under the sea. Undoubtedly. Copyright for me. Um, so it's, the film starts with like there's um, fishing off the um, Italian coast. These two people, and then you see something jump out the water because it's like oh, there's sea monsters around these parts and right, okay, blah blah blah. And you then see your title character Luca. He's a shepherd under the sea. So he like oh, so yeah. the fish are like sheep in oh, his world. The pasty sheep under, under exactly the, the oh. paste the pasty fish. Um, yeah, his mum like warns him about the surface, like you must never go near it, or like, because it turns out like their species, like so they can go up there, and then that's they transform into humans. Yeah. So oh, they're humans, okay. Transforms into humans, but if they get wet, as soon as they get wet, then they, they, they revert turn back. back. Yeah. Oh, okay. I did, is this sounds quite deep for a mermaid it and quite, kiddie animated it is. Disney film? Yeah. Um, sort of Finding Nemo vibes in reverse. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Because obviously okay. that was in the sea. Um, so he goes. So like at the start when this one of them, it's not him. I think it's his mate. Um, so like he like the jumps over the boat and they knock some of their stuff like their uh, gramophone and maps and bits and pieces like into it. And he's like finds it like he's interested in it. Then someone comes down in a diving suit, like he's cornered on his own and he like panics because he believes to be human, but it's just like one of him, like right, one of okay. his kind. But he doesn't obviously know him. Like becomes friends with them. They're called Alberto. Alberto. And so he's been on the surface before. And he lives in an abandoned, I want to say it's either a lighthouse or a windmill. Like okay. he's like, And he's collecting human stuff and that and sort of like learning about humans and like living, like trying to like learn their things and live their life. Sure, and human, then like human te- flesh. And then like, yeah. And then Luca human learns flesh. through him. Okay. Because he like, he pulls Luca up and then Luca transforms for the first time. Like he's like not learning how to walk. And then right, like, of he has course. to learn how to walk and stuff yeah. like that. Um, how they communicate, which stems from them hearing someone go, "What's the matter with you, stupido?" So they say that to everyone because they think that's how you greet okay. people. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Well, he has know. a um, poster of a Vespa that he wants to own because it's a great motorcycle. So then there's that whole subplot because there's a race in the town because it's. 
Yeah, because that's the bit I've seen in like the yeah. trailer and poster. There's like it's it's like the the arena from Cars, mm. except it, not Cars yeah. related. It's, it's yeah, in daylight but... and he's on like a racetrack with a hat and a goggle. Well, yeah. I might be making that up, but yeah. Supposedly with like an arena. Yeah, so there's a there's a bike race slash like triathlon kind of thing, and like the winner gets enough money essentially to buy a Vespa motorcycle. Right. Which one of the um horrible people like has like one of them? It's like that's how he got it. So then they befriend this totally human girl, um, Julia. Um, and her dad who's got one arm, and a moustache, and um, he's, you know, he's cutting up fish, and they're like, Ugh. and then they need to work for him to pay the entry fee is one of the bits I remember it was a really good film but I was like this is there's a lot happening right for an hour and a half yeah Um, yeah. so he has like the like she's obviously asked her dad to pay the entry fee so they'll they work to earn it and so they're like well we know where because he's a fisherman as well and like he cooks really nice pasta and they eat that for the first time they don't know to use a knife and fork hi jinx (laughs) haha um and they obviously like learn more about humans and that side of things and they're yeah, they love that life because his parents are like trying to keep him away. Like you must never go there, and they try to send him to the like the bottom of the sea, like with his uncle. That's like one of those fish that are like translucent. They've gone translucent because they've like not been in sunlight. Oh, right, so they want him right, to spend okay. like the summer there, and that's so he essentially runs away and like stays on the surface for a bit. And um, yeah, it's quite. It's a really good film. I really it. does enjoyed sound it. deep for like a fix. They're progressing as a company. Like yeah. they just seem to be getting more complex. And they they obviously take him to like better fishing waters because they know where the fish are. Like, yeah. Because him I'm being just, a fisherman, I'm, there's I'm, a lot of children screaming. I know. That ain't nothing to do with Luca. But that, that's not part of the film. We They're screaming got, with enjoyment. It's, it's not Luca. Copyright. It's not copyright. I swear, Luca, don't take us down. Um, but no, okay. It's I, I like how they've come up with still got original ideas in their in their vault and. Yeah, because original yeah. Pixar movies are better than sequels. Um, yeah, absolutely. Apart from Toy Story 2 was on par with Toy Story. If not, mm. some people would say slightly better. But I really, really did enjoy Luca. It's got a great young voice cast. Um, and I think it just it really... It, it, it's an hour and a half. It flies by. Yeah. I really sort of enjoyed just the whole thing and the experience of it. And it felt like it was... It's down as like a coming of age story, but it does yeah. really feel like that because of the way it sort of comes across and the story it's trying to tell about parents not always being right and knowing what's best for you. Right. Yeah. Blimey. I wasn't expecting Pixar. You've kind of won me over. Hmm. Yeah. But yeah, it was really good. Really good. That's the last couple. Onward, I kind of thought, eh, like, you yeah. know, Tom Holland. I really, Pratt. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it more than I thought I would, so exactly. I was very pleasantly was surprised. Like, yeah. So I thought, not necessarily overhyped, but I thought, what on earth am I watching here to begin with? And then by the end of it, that was like two hours, that was like an hour and 50 minutes. That was longer than um, Luca and probably Onward. Mm. They were nearer to two hours, I think. Yeah. But even that, I walked out of that and thought, bloody hell, Jamie Foxx can. He's not just Electro anymore. Don't you know? I'm not Electro in Spider Man. No way home. May or may Possibly. not. Happen, I, don't know. Yeah. Know. I think he's confirmed, but we we won't know. Oh, Soul was good. Soul was good. I want to really watch yeah. Soul. Watch so watch Luca on Disney Plus if you haven't already. Um, I would give it a solid, um, nine out of ten for me. Nine out of ten, four big, and a half big, stars. Big claims. It came out like a couple of days ago. Didn't it? It's literally like this. Not even literally a week like, old yet. Yeah. A week and a bit maybe. I don't know. Yeah. And yeah. If it's in cinemas, I would you know take your kids to go and see that if you can because. Yeah. Um, that's something they're really going to enjoy. Um, really engaging story, and it'll probably make grown ups cry. That's what Pixar does. Oh, yeah, no, they do. Pixar yeah. are good at that. Speaking of making grown ups cry, Loki episode three, because it's Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. You're it's release known day. As Disney Plus Day now, because I don't know if we, I think it, was, it came out Wednesdays after we recorded. Wednesdays are the new Fridays. But permanently, everything. I think it came out after we recorded last week's episode that. I think it's mainly down to the success of Loki, like launching on a Wednesday. I don't think everything's going to have the same effect as Loki. Like I like no, 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 Bad Batch no. coming out on the Friday. I liked Mighty Ducks coming out on the Friday. I still think like Friday's mm. the perfect time because it's like the weekend. Yeah. So when most people are going to watch it is over that weekend and initial period. Wednesday obviously breaks it up a bit more because it's like, hey, this will get you through the rest of the week. This will get you to the weekend. Come exactly. on, exactly. Come, Come on, with us. nearly there. Have nearly an adventure with Tom Hiddleston. Yeah. Um, yeah. Episode two, I watched shortly after last week. Shortly after oh, Connor left, was right there, inviting us to go. Come on, come with I us. I was trying to watch it before he got here, but I just I was too slow because I. Too slow. 
I was way too slow. Day. And same again, I was at work, but I forgot my charger because I was going to watch it on my break. Mm. Um, so I will be watching it while I'm editing this. Um, yeah, I haven't got as much to watch. Yeah, that's that's the first spoiler. It's not no. as long. It is slightly shorter. Mm. Um, so, what do you think, Connor, of episode three? Give us the rundown. Spoilers ahead. If you haven't watched yeah. Loki already, yeah, what are you doing? It's Friday. It's been out two days. You see yeah. what I did there? Message to the future. So, um, yeah, episode three. We pick up after um, Loki going in the portal. Yeah, where he bumps into Black Widow on Voromir. Yeah, he does. Wait, what? Uh, what? Uh, uh, it's a Black Widow short film. Spoiler what? free for... <laughs> Go for it, Con. So, our local local adventurers, they're not exactly local, aren't they? Um, our time travel adventurers are on the run. You know, Lady Loki is evil at this point, you know. It was Loki all along. It was um, Loki all along. Literally. Um, you know, Tom Hiddleston's going to stop her. You know, oh, I thought we were going to work together. Da, 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 da. They escape through the portal. But where does she end up, George? Do you want to have a, a very hard guess? Um, does she end up on VHS with Colin Baker? What, on trial? <laughs> on trial with her? Well, no. Not quite. They just end up back at home in the TVO. I mean, out of all the places to go, they end up going to... Where like the most obvious place they go back to the TVA in the um, past? Uh, no, 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 just straight out of fact the T the TVA, which may or may not be in the quantum realm. That to a theory I might have sent you, or did I not send that over? To I you? think you might have sent it to me. I don't know because there's a lot of things, and I need mm. to you know maybe read more. Process but, um, it, yeah. Tell us. Yes. Um, so what? Ended up, yeah, we were, we're. Tell us what and why and who. When? So no, they went. So it's, the episode begins with them going back to the TVA. Where Loki, Tom Hiddleston's trying to stop Lady Loki from, you know, stopping the timekeepers from shutting down the timeline. Oh, that's the, the whole. Universe. That's her. That's her the thing. whole future of the MCU is that's just her stopping stick. it. She's just, just pulling the plug out to stop it. She yeah. is. Um, she is Warner Brothers. She is Tobey Maguire in uh, Spider-Man Two when Otto Octavius is doing that experiment. What are you doing? I'm pulling the plug. Yeah, no! exactly. Yeah, I'm pulling the plug. Yep, yeah, indeed. On everything we've ever known, even phase one, two, three. Yeah. Everything um, you've ever loved. The timeline, all gone. Um, but no, Tom Hiddleston sort of catches up with her. There's a, like I say, so it begins with her having a little brief sequence with the guards. They're sort of like, yeah, what are you doing here? It's the variant, stop her. But she has, she can just evade moves like Neo in the Matrix. Oh, cool. But she doesn't have any weapons, so she uses their like rods that disintegrate the TVA agents. They so just out, straight out, click melt them and erase them from existence they're just gone oh. so they're all dead and she takes care of them with ease um tom Nilsson then catches up with her and he has his twirly like little knives that he sees in the trailer yeah and he sort of like do we get that moment do we get president loki in episode three or is that not yet maybe is maybe. that this episode maybe is it go on tell us like, full on straight to me no one else is listening who else is it actually president loki this week no Ah, <laughs> no. <laughs> bastard. <laughs> no, I feel that that will be the next one. Not because of anything that might happen in this one, but... Uh, um, you know, Loki has a little chat, you know, he has a little sparring contest, you know, proposes that he tries to work together again and have an audience of the Timekeepers, because that's, we you know, that's where the show is going to culminate with this Timekeeper, whether or not it's just Kane the Conqueror or Chris Pratt in Community or, you know, <laughs> just Owen Wilson. I mean, was Chris Pratt in Community? Or whatever. Uh, which park, one? What's park, it called? Parks, parks and Recreation. Oh, what's that? Oh, I had another voice from another time. Like uh, parks. Connor, it's Parks and Recreation. <laughs> Thank you, cu curator. <laughs> <laughs> parks and Recreation. That's right. Copyright free. Yeah. Um, uh, uh. <laughs> Count Dracula. You're right. Um, yeah. So yeah, they propose about working together. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, talky, talky, talky. Yeah, talky, talky, talky. Martha's sister turns up and she's like. Right, you two. I mean, uh, your doctor. <laughs> you're not going up there at my say so. They're there at this point, like, almost about to stab each other. Like, both Loki's are literally about to look at each other. As if they've got, like, swords and they're going to go, like, like this. And then, look, look, Martha and the TV are, like, walking up to them. And then they they have the, like, their teleporter device, which they, it's called the, the, the tell pad mm. later on in the episode. It officially has a name, the tell pad. Yeah. They both disappear and they escape from the TVA. And now Martha's sister is pissed, and because now the two variants have escaped their sights, escaped their clutches. Bastards. Absolute but now, bastards. But now, where have they ended up? Where have our intrepid travellers ended up? 
Um, is um um in None other than Toast of London. <laughs> is Matt Berry there? <laughs> Unless he's a living planet named Lamantis One, not Voromir. Discount Voromir. <laughs> Lamantis. Yeah, it's the title. She was in Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> No, no, La that, Mantis. that's just Mantis. Yeah, Ma- no, La Mantis La- Tobargan. La Mantis Tobargan. Is it actually sounds like a name from something, a reference or something? But no, La Mantis oh, one. I think like it's a, a random place. I don't yeah. think it's anything too important. It's just oh. a random little planet, purple, which everyone thought it was Voromir, and everyone thought Scarlett Johansson turns up. It's, you know, not quite. I'm sorry, guys. There's no time travel, Black Widow bullshit. It's just no, not happening this week. Um, essentially, though. The moon's going to crash, and this is a fixed point in time. The year's 20- Oh, it's Wars of Mars. 2077's in the future. and David Tennant's there. <laughs> Maybe. What happens on Lamantis 1 must always happen. Yeah, it's a fixed point in time. Fixed Lady. Point. There is no stopping it. Lady Loki, as we know from previous episodes, likes hiding in apocalypses, and that's how she just, she's like available to evade everyone that's hunting her down. Mm-hmm. So she knows salad. The, the scenario. <laughs> exactly. There's the brilliant salad scene last week. Um, as God is not a home, as God is a salad, <laughs> and the salad is Ragnarok. <laughs> yeah. That was great. Oh no, look! I just want my salad. <laughs> um, Don't do that. There's none over in Wilson this week, which is a bit, yeah, but you know, it's this episode. No in Wilson. No in Wilson. Ah. Uh-huh. Owen Wilson, 1996 to 2021. You know, he will be missed this week. Um. <laughs> Yeah, you know, so it's such a I good don't guy. think he was born in 1996, but sure. That was his first film. Yeah, I was just talking. I mean, oh, okay. he has a lot of Oh, his career's films. over. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Jesus. I didn't mean to erase him from the timeline. We need him as a timeline. No. Um, so, alas, they end up on this meteor planet that their moon, moon above the planet is going to crash into it. No mm-hmm. one survives. Lady Loki knows because she's from the future, right? So she can just know this. But it's a fixed point in time. No one escapes. So they're fucked. So they obviously use the telepad and get away, don't they? Episode over. Oh, Miss Minutes pops up and it's out of juice. So they can't escape the exploding planet with meteorites falling down. Loki Shit. Loki Lo- Lo- and... Well, Loki and Loki. Who isn't Loki. She doesn't want to be called Loki. Her name is Sylvie, as we know. Okay. Sylvie, though. This is what I was trying to explain before I was going to talk about the episode. Sylvie, during the last week, is another name of another Marvel character. Yes. In the form of Enchantress. Mm-hmm. You went into... Yeah, you said that last week, didn't you? Oh, did I actually? Oh, okay. I think so. I don't know about I you. I think you briefly went into it, yeah. So, yeah, the Sylvie thing... Because it was... Are they merging in... characters like they sometimes See, do? See, that's my personal take on it. And the only reason I know this Sylvie was a thing, because in when episode two days last week, there was photos on Twitter and stuff where the Spanish subtitles listed Sofia de Martino as Sylvie, and that's when she didn't call herself Sylvie. She just said, I'm not Loki. Yeah. So, you know, is she in trance or is she Lady Loki? I think my opinion is that she's kind of, like you say, merging both. So she might yeah. call herself They've done that a few times, yeah. Later on, you know, mm-hmm. at the end of the show, maybe. She, lives she on. might be enchanted by Tom Hiddleston's dashing good looks. Oh, no, it's the other way around. Tom Hiddleston's enchanted by her. Tom Hiddleston's just enchanting. He's just the lovely, lovely boy with a lovely, lovely nose and set of eyes and cheeks. Who, I'm assuming he's Christian. I'm assuming he's Christian. I don't know. He's not Christian Bale. No. Anywho, <laughs> um, so yeah, Loki and Sylvie have basically got to escape this asteroid before you know they just. If one of them dies, the telepad doesn't work, and then the other one gets erased from existence. So as Lady Loki explains, so they have to work together. Okay. <clears throat> Which yeah, but this is what she's telling us, the audience. Like Tommy Wilson's just there Do going, the you know, trying to kill me. Yeah. Um, so they had kind of banter and bicker throughout the episode where it's, you know, one Aha, so banter. Sophia Bickering. does seem to like, you know, you know, appreciate him because he's there, but at times he's like, no, you're just a big oaf and, you know, you're not the real Loki. And, you know, they, they, mock each other the episode. they agree to like work and not work. They have a moment where they, she touches, I, I'm not trying to strangle you. She they have a moment where they touch and they literally stare at each other for a minute and they're both like, sort of looking down like this and it's sort of like. But what are you doing? She's like, I'm trying to enchant you. Why is your mind not working? Because Loki's mind is stronger than any other mind. Oh. But I'm assuming Tom Wilson's just talking about himself and not Loki throughout the entire cosmos. Yeah, his version. 
Yeah, not Loki in every existence. No, so, uh, yeah. I think, uh, one thing I forgot to even mention, the episode begins with a funky little theme tune, the Marvel Studios logo. So it's like a little funky pop world tune. I was like, oh, this isn't... This the is vibe. new. This is the Disney Plus pop world live stream or something. But it turns it's, out... It's you, Hamilton. See, you see Martino. So I'll just call him Martino. You see Sylvie and one of the TVA agents in pop world, discount pop world. Um... Other, other really and, crap clubs are available. Sipping martinis and cocktails and um, just having a laugh and just mm-hmm. talking about garlic bread and what to order for food and stuff in a nightclub. Yeah, this, is like, this isn't the normal stuff. But then Sylvie's asking her questions about you. Yeah, so how many people are in the TVA? Like, you know, you, you, so yeah, you're talk, they're having a ah, normal yeah. conversation. And then she's like, right, so why aren't you telling me about the timekeepers? But you see, um, the, you know, the TVA person that like, you recognise her from the other episodes, and she's one of the guards, like the main guard. Yeah, that one. She isn't ask, answering the questions, and then she sort of wants to snap out. It's like a one division type spell, oh, where it's like she's tasty. tricking, yeah, like altering the behaviour. Mm-hmm. But then she realises, like, oh, where am I? I've been here before. Mm-hmm. But then it cuts to that imaginary world where you see Sylvie touch their head and does like a one division, like so. It's a green magic spell. But she's like Not a red projecting one. fake Pretty memories. Different. Well, quote unquote fake memories in her head. Mm. But again, that comes back later. But that's how the episode begins. And you're thinking, what does that all have to mean? Mm. But alas, they're escaping burning planet. They banter and don't like each other. And then your clip on the train happens. They um, yeah, they walk around the planet and sort of joke around and realise you know, they, they're doomed and fucked. And again, they like she cusses a lot in this episode yeah. and says the f word quite a few times. To be fair, Lady mm. Loki doesn't give a fuck. Like we don't give a fuck. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Um, yeah, adult section out of the way. Um, Except for when we need monetization, and then no c word. No c word. Oh, yeah, so f, so f word is acceptable. Uh, well, apparently, like it's just the c word that demonetizes you. <clears throat> anyway, oh, okay. You go. Um, they knock on a traveller's house. Just to you know, find direction. No, no, who's there? Basically, and but then you get shotgun to the face, and S- Sylvie's not bleeding, but it is like an energy rifle to the face, and she's like Psh! blown back. Tom Hiddleston knocks That's on the door. <laughs> He's kind of. Did you study at Rada? <laughs> Tom Hiddleston knocks on the doors, and then as before and someone's he gets his head blown off, he sees on the corner of the eye a photo of this woman and her husband. See, then shapeshifts into the, the her old husband, who she hasn't seen in like thirty years, and he pretends to cry at the doorstep and goes like, <laughs> "Oh, Petra!" Or whatever. And he's like, "Oh, Petra, <laughs> it's been such a long time." The hair on you—he says something nice, and then he gets shot in the face, and this guy <laughs> fades away. And Sylvie's just there laughing at him, going like, "Is that your way of like, you know, approaching someone? Like you just <laughs> use disguise and illusion to your advantage." And he's like, well, you know, it works for me nine times out of ten. Like, so it's a comedic section, really. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't really lead anywhere because she just tells them to piss off and then off they go to this train. I mean, it's a bit of a random segment. Okay. Bit of a, that's like this episode feels like it's longer than segment. it is. A bit random segment. But then they get to this train where they realise it will take them to the other side of the, t- of the planet they're on, um, okay. where there's a rocket where basically they can escape. Uh-huh. That's the gist. So that's why your train bit happens. How do they get more time juice? How does that happen? So, yes, yeah, so they need the energy from the ro- this rocket they're trying to get to to charge up their pad. Uh, That's the plan. That's the plan. Fair enough. But I think, yeah, the lady you know, knocking on this house and the lady with the shotgun, I think that's just all for directions, I assume. I th- yeah, that's the most random bit of the episode. Rather yeah. than that, it all makes sense from going forward. Okay. So, they get on the train. Lady Loki prefers violence, as we saw in the beginning of the episode. She's just like, you know... You know, I, you She's know, just going to do it, isn't she? She's just gonna... Yeah. She just bends people to their will and just puts them in place mm. in her words that's how she sees her worldview whereas Tom Henderson just likes having fun and you know just using the mask of illusion to his advantage and mm. just changing projecting a fake image or whatever he was saying in episode 2 you know the um, image duplication replication and stuff yeah. that's his style yeah, yeah so as you see in your little clip you know he there's a queue a very long queue there's like train guards except they have masks on like visors yeah so everyone has a visor down meaning that you can't see their face well Tom Wilson for every reason he shapeshifts but he has his face open mm-hmm. so this is when like, the logic you, know, you just have your visor down so they can't see who you are mm. but alas they get on the train it's all fine you know <clears throat> Enchantress or Loki what do you want to call her Sylvie she uses a bit of a magic touch and you know the guards don't say it's like, you know, these are the Jedi you're not looking for, and then they get on the train, yeah. and it's all good. There's another droids you're looking for. Once they get on said oh, train, 
once they get on said train, you then go back to another bar. It's not quite funky pop world music, but they have a nice little sit down and chat. And then you have character development. Is it like the train from Rick and Morty? <laughs> I don't, I've not seen that episode. Uh... Okay. No. No, it's just it's a nice old chat between those two characters. Um, yeah. They get onto mums like Loki's mums. Mm-hmm. They bring up the dark world a little bit. They talk about you know, <laughs> they you know, was she a nice woman and stuff? And he's, he's like, well, yes. Uh, and then he comes up about, did they tell you that you were adopted? Mm. And then we find that Sylvie's version yeah. in her oh, reality, oh, oh. in her reality, they you know they got on much better, and she told her right off the bat that she was adopted. Her and four are like best mates, and if you she doesn't directly mention four, but it, it assumed like her family life was much better and different to what Tom Hiddleston went through. Instead of Odin lying to him, it exactly, was, she got told she outright got told she was adopted, right. oh. which is different. And then he does play off a bit comedic because he's just turning around, he's like, "Well, love, I'm a, I'm adopted," as if. She doesn't know that, but because they're both Loki's, they both have a similar origin. I'm like, yeah, I'm assuming, it's, you know, similar details. Yeah. And that's when she sort of corrects him on that, and he's like, oh, so it's not just me. So he doesn't feel neglected and let down that he had to go through the shit he went through. Because mm, all like. Loki's went through it, pretty much, okay. or like a vast majority of them. Yeah. Um, oh, that's cool. And then they. It's a nice little play on it because obviously, like, he's just seen his whole life from, you know. Yeah. Where, like he's seen up to when he dies and exactly like, now he's also learning more character development through the fact that oh like you went through the same thing as me in terms of like suffering with mm. um not actually being like related to these people but they treated you even better yet she still refuses to call herself a Loki and she obviously isn't content on calling herself Loki so maybe some rifts did happen there that maybe we, yeah that we something know. yeah something else. something obviously happened with her backstory and so hence why is, she's anti I know he's not directly mm. mentioned but mm. what is said to allude to Thor from her world well is it just like oh my brother or? yeah he's literally my brother and but, he, but then he doesn't go wait your brother that's what I was thinking Thor elaborate on that but no mm. he just basically mums the subject of the conversation and then, and they talk then about alluded to yeah yeah, they just said my life in Asgard was much different to yours from the sound of it. Uh-huh, that's, yeah. uh, and that's all as far as it goes. Which, yeah, maybe we... Because there's a bit of the trailer where he looks like... You know, the first release trailer, he looks like he ends up back on Asgard. So maybe, unless it's her Asgard, mm, for whatever reason. Maybe. That'd be, it'd be a good idea, I think. Asgard, what? To... Yeah, Asgard, what? Yeah. Asgard, uh, Sparkles. <laughs> sparkles, jet skis. Jet skis are there. Lord of Thunder. Um... No, so then we get to Owen Wilson, oh, Owen Wilson, Tom Hiddleston drinking champagne, and then we learn Sylvie doesn't drink alcohol, so he takes her glass and says, you know, doesn't want to waste nothing. So then he gets drunk and he has a bit of karaoke, sings a bit of Asgardian folklore. She's oh, just cool. there going like, God, what is he doing? <laughs> sort of like, you know, we need to get to this, we need to get it's to nice the It's nice to sort of, of see him pure. Yeah, he's actually just himself, mm. and she's just like her approach to it. Yeah, she doesn't drink. She she's just very head focused on the mission. It's been taking her years to get into this TVA malarkey, and she just she's met Tom Anderson and he's put stopped everything. So she hates him already. Whereas he just doesn't. Understand he's just loving her. his life. He doesn't understand her because he she's a woman. You know, they're just different views, I guess. Yeah. But they talk about relationships a little bit and loved ones, and I don't know chemistry. I wouldn't go out right being like, oh, they're gonna like like each other or anything but then there's a, a little weird. there's a little remark about Loki like Tom Hiddleston's relationship so he's like male or female or like, he's all like you know, princesses or little princes and she sort of does like a li- not a wink to the camera but he has like a little hmm, princes and he mm. went well might be a bit of both but nothing like genuine nothing real I mean like he's not felt true love mm. and but like both Loki's and also and because it- and also because <clears throat> like in that like mythology whether it be Norse or um, Greek or stuff like that like those kinds of um people are always very much more sexually ambivalent because they're always yeah it's more of a thing of like well that's not the important thing about them the important thing about them is like what they do yeah whereas like whether they like you know they're just less fussy it's not like i'd like men or women it's like i like whoever likes me kind of thing exactly which is sort of nice for that to sort of then be an inclusive step Mm, um mm, yeah it's a bit it's for not me, it's the a focus bit la- of the for me, it's a bit lazy in terms of the fact that it's just like we have to just take that at face value for the word it is. We don't see that exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's the only knock on effect. Yeah, that yeah. Or had it confirmed 
like prior earlier. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's not like from that com- from this episode we can go back to four twenty eleven and see something that's gone. Ah, oh, maybe yeah. he liked Vandra or whatever. You know, maybe yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Um, but alas, he kind of sort of alluded to a comment where he might have had a potential male relationship, and it's sort of like okay, you know, that's it's fine. It's fine. It's Asgard. It's, it's, it's fine in every. It's fine in every realm. <laughs> Even ours. Yeah. Um, but then, yeah, not, he gets... Not some parts of America. Uh, hmm. Progression. It's slow. He gets drunk. She sort of wants to debate her life and sort of think, what on earth am I doing with this oath? But she needs him. He sings some... It's a title, say, singing Asgardian folklore. And then Brilliant. he's saying, oh, baby, come... Like, he, the only words you understand is something like, oh, baby, come home, come home, or something like that. And then in the end, he, he sort of drunkly sort of walks over to her as if he's going to do the whole... Like singing to her, as if he's singing like this romantic song to her in Asgardian. And yet she's looking at him, going like, Don't "Like what? What? Like me. what the fuck are you doing?" <laughs> and then it, it sort of reverts to her, and he's just, "Hey, another round, another, hey, another!" He smashes his glass. That's a reference to four. That was a funny scene. He he breaks his glass. I've cool. many. Another. <laughs> But then the train guards stop the fun. There's an old man sort of watching him being an idiot, drunk and fool. And he, you see him go out the cabin and he comes up back later with the train guards and he's like, ah, oh, your ticket, sir. He went, ha, me? Ticket? I'm the god of mischief. You know, he's just very oh, boastful at this point. He sort of outs pissed. himself. Yeah, he outs himself essentially. And she just, so Sophia's literally just looking at him going like, oh, I have to do this myself. And she, she butts him out of the way, yeah. takes care of them. And then <laughs> they lose their fight because they chuck Tom Hiddleston off the train. So then she has to go, oh, bloody hell, and jump out the train after him. So at this point, he's battered, bruised, half drunk, and still singing folk and all that piss as a fart. But then he realizes, like, oh, what am I doing, eh? We're all gonna die. The meteor's gonna crash. What's the fucking point? So then she's gonna have to, like, motivate him. And then he's like, right, to the city of. City bit, you know, back, to, 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 to the, to the tele, you know, telepad. To the finding yeah. our telepad, essentially. So then, then we sort of get towards the end. They head towards the city. It is like the Mos Eisley Cantina. It's very sort of neon signs, <laughs> like Mandrapore was in Falcon Winter Soldier. Yeah, kind of okay. that vibe. Oh, that's cool. Um, and they don't go indoors anyway, as such. But they see this. We you don't know, have the budget for indoors. A flock of people around mm-hmm. this, the whole community, the whole town, or whatever. And then you basically see the device that they're after, this rocket that they've got to get the energy from. So then, run, 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 run. Oh. um... A conversation comes up about the TVA mm-hmm. and the beginning of the episode where I mentioned about them, you know, Sylvie being in pop world with the other TVA agent and from her mind and stuff. It turns out the main revelation of this week is that everyone in the TVA is a variant. And although she was purely tapping into that guard's mind, you know, the guard last week that was saying yeah. they're going, oh, it's real, it's real. She was having a not seizure, but she was kind of affected it's by something. Kind of thing, yeah. yeah. So essentially, Loki last you know, Sylvie last week tapped into her mind. Project she found an old memory of her before she was a TVA agent, mm-hmm. and tried to extract information about the timekeepers. But that's when it led to nowhere, and that's the beginning of this episode. Oh, right. so essentially, yeah, she so just confirms to become Loki, TVA agents. Whereas we got told the t- the timekeepers create the TVA, and that's that. So it's all lies. Again, it's all propaganda and all bullshit. Everything. <laughs> just like the government. It's all bullshit. It's like, just like real life. Everything you it know is. is a fucking lie. Everything's a lie. Yeah. So, you know, Owen Wilson basically is a variant. The, the guard's who? over there. <gasps> it's a variant. Imagine if he's a Loki variant. I know, I know. Wow. But he's a variant of Richard E. Grant. Because there's still no sign of him this week. No mention, no nothing. We must get him in the... The final, the final act, surely. Yeah, f- at least five, episode five. At it least can't just be episode six. six. <laughs> at least episode five and six. Yeah. Hopefully next week in episode four. Um, what would you give it so far in comparison to the others? Um, I t- okay, so far this, I still this is still episode one over episode two. What do you? What Loki? Did you? Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah, I, I think I felt that. I think yeah, I one think was just such a good start. It was like it doesn't get worse. It's just for me. No, it's no, a no. Thing of, um, I just like how it opens. See, I felt that, but now I watched two again, and I've watched two like maybe two or three times, and now I'm just so used to two. I'm like, no, I really like episode two, but that's mm. just me. I think no, this one is the weak link. All right, ignore my shoddy explanation, but I think this one is You'll the weak yourself link. Until so week. so far, mm. um, but alas, we're we're now halfway through, and I'm very, I'm still very excited and very conscious of what, how the hell it's all going to connect to everything, and mm-hmm. how the hell it's all going to culminate. Yeah. 
But alas, Owen Wilson will be back next week, I'm assuming. Not Hopefully. only on the podcast, but back in episode four. Next week, yes. <laughs> Owen, Wilson. Owen Wilson. Where he will give us the clue, the keys to the multiverse city, or the city of Candor, which may be stuck in the quantum realm. This is a fun theory. I like the TV because the TVA are in a different time. They don't know, uh, yeah, past, past, present, or future. Me, yeah. In the quantum realm. So they're saying the city could be the TVA in that little bit. And then Kane the Conqueror, Quantum Mania, they're just kind of throwing the idea going out. So maybe this links mm. to the direct Potentially. to you a lot. It's a ra- thank you, TikTok, courtesy of TikTok, today's video sponsor for this video. <laughs> yeah, it's a oh, TikTok cool, theory, man. but yeah. I just thought it kind of makes semi sense. It's like, yeah, it could be that. Yeah. Something like that. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Anything yeah. happen, Anything goes in a Marvel production. Um, what did you guys think of Loki? Did you like it? Um, are you enjoying it so far? What's your favourite episode? Why do you love Tom Hiddleston so much? Mm. And not just because... Well, and Sophia bad... Martina. Yeah. yeah. And Sophia. I, I, I can't wait to watch a full episode of her. Yeah, like, absolutely. When I, fin- absolutely. when I finish this. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, the last episode before our third birthday. Our new regeneration cycle will begin. <laughs> Yes. Which always, like, yes. Iro- un- ironically, you know, not through planning, stuff changes and adapts along with our birthdays. So, you know, our last birthday we did video. Before that, we just got a bit better at stuff. You know, yeah. um, who knows what's next? We don't. Only the variants of us know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, that are hopefully yeah. working on a much better production that is a- bears more fruit. Please. <laughs> But thank you everyone for once again watching and listening to another whole podcast. It's been an absolute privilege to have us in your ear holes. Yes, um, us. Get your questions me. and everything in next week by sending your emails to nerdbiblecontact at gmail.com but don't be afraid to use Facebook, Twitter, Instagram if you've got any of them. What's the handle for those, Connor? At Pasty Sheep. Yep. All across the board. DMs, all across the board. stories, comments. Um, get involved in the comment section in this video as well. Let us know what you want to talk about. We're going to have a really good fun third birthday Eventually. party yeah um yeah it's gonna be a good one we'll see you there get some questions in um and we'll ask some questions to our guests as well maybe you can you know get involved with that until next time um i don't oh fuck I didn't, yeah you didn't have a cliffhanger I forgot, uh, no i think i i think i screenshotted one but i've forgotten um i should have really used the um justice league versus avengers but um i should have been a good cliffhanger yeah. um do you know i know you know this because you sent it to me but do you know right. they've cast snow white in the live action Snow White? Uh, no. Why no. would makes you say that? Who is it, Connor? Because I've forgotten. Uh, Princess Jasmine from Aladdin 2019. No, but seriously, who's playing? <laughs> who's playing? Ka- Karen Gillan. It's been confirmed. I didn't even need to look at my phone. It's Karen Gillan. Um, I wish Karen Gillan was in many more things. <laughs> Just Googling Snow White quick. Shit. Not at all. <laughs> a doll? Who is a doll? Uh, uh, Snow Luca movie. This ain't what I want. <laughs> Snow Luca movie. It's all going downhill. It's gone horribly wrong. Uh, um, we will see you guys next week. Thanks everyone so much. Um, until next Rachel time. Rachel Selgler. Rachel Selgler. Goodbye. Everybody. Daughter of um, Norman Osborne. Green Goblin and <laughs> Stay true multiverses.